Subscribe if you haven't already. We're at the 2017 United States Women's Disc Golf Championships, which took place in Johnson City, Tennessee. And Van Dyken and Valerie are at three down. Starting out on his way up there. Now I have Vanessa Van Dyken, sp uh, Prodigy sponsored. Vanessa is the winner of the uh, Kona Peace State Open this year. Yes. She went with a backhand shot, hoping for it to turn over a little bit. Turned over some, but I think it faded a little earlier than she has landed really close up to the pin. That is a great drive. Vanessa looking for a birdie. Good effort. Vanessa's going to be tapping in for her par. Definitely no shame on a par on this hole. It's there. The rest of the ladies card in a par. Moving on to hole number two. If that would have flexed that a little bit earlier. That would have been in the middle of the fairway and that would have been an absolutely perfect shot. Vanessa looking to uh, get up and down for a birdie. If she can get up and down here, she can get a birdie three. Love to see Vanessa really take her time, make sure she lines her shot up the way she wants to. Oh, oh. my gosh, I remember that. And as you can see, it worked out nicely. Let's get a BDGC backtrack on that. So smooth. This is about a 150 foot, maybe 200 foot up shot uh, right oh. off the front of the cage. Almost puts it in for an eagle. Such a great, definitely a good one to walk away with. Vanessa with a birdie as well. Three birdies, I'm sorry. Uh, moving on to hole number three. That was an absolute crush, as Amanda was talking about there. It's, mm -hmm. She starts off slow on the tee pad and then really just explodes yeah. <laughs> right there at the end. And it works out nicely. Very smooth shot from Vanessa. Bottom left of the screen. Vanessa with a smooth backhand, but unfortunately got kind of, unfortunately hit a tree and she's down at the bottom. Very good up for Vanessa right there. It's just some sort of awkward footing with one foot down and one foot higher up. Mm -hmm. He was a walk around with us in this card as well as Nate Doss. Vanessa also going with the uh, backhand shot. Trying to hit the gap, and she does so just perfectly. Sit on top of the hill. She's definitely going to be looking at the right side, but she should have a really good look from there. Vanessa looks like she might be trying a little bit of a Anheuser shot here, trying to get a little bit more distance. Turns it over. Looks like a little bit of tree love there. Kicked her back out to the middle. It'll be no problem. She's definitely walking away with another birdie. So it looks like Vanessa actually kicked down a little earlier than she wanted. So far this round of the putter. Uh, Valerie Jenkins sitting at three down after those first three uh, birdies. Caught up a little bit early, but she should have a jump putt. Vanessa also going with the backhand. Standstill shot. Mm -hmm. Risky, but she knew what she was doing. Yeah, very good. Vanessa looking at a long jump putt here. She stood still, just off the top. It was one of those quiet, <laughs> <laughs> quiet putt. Vanessa looking for her three. No 
problems there. A little bit of gallery class one down while Val is still sitting at three down for this round. These ladies are definitely just trying to land at the bottom of the hill there and then have uh, still quite a bit of work to do from there. Oh, almost stuck out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> Great. And it got around the tree. Absolutely. She had a lot of power on that one. Her forehand game was just as strong, if not stronger, than her backhand game. Yeah, definitely. Awkward stance, another patent pending shot from Vanessa. Absolutely great shot. She bit off a lot more than I thought she would have there. Another placement shot. Oh, that's I've actually yet to play this hole in this pin position, so I'd like to make it back out to Harmon Hills and try this one out. Mm. Once again, as I said, very awkward stance. Mm -hmm. mm. It's Vanessa again. Very good attempt there. At least it, she's set. Hopefully Vanessa can take this one. I'm sure she's ready to get this hole out of the way. <laughs> I'm yeah. sure they all are. Yeah. <laughs> I am very eager to play that hole on that position. Unfortunately with a seven, a couple of sixes, and only one par on that hole. I'm looking for possibly a jump putt or just a soft little toss up. Vanessa also going to the backhand, hoping that will turn over. It turned a little bit. She also gets Ooh. caught up on the side of the fairway. She almost took the dog out right there. <laughs> I, I noticed in the slow motion shot, the owner of the dog, the owner of the dog picked him up, so he didn't get hit by a disc. So shout out to that guy. Mm -hmm. Glad he didn't get nailed with that disc, because that definitely could have hurt. Oh yeah. A forward skip towards the basket. Vanessa looks like she's running this one, which is a very risky move with that drop off. Oh, thankfully. I'm nervous. <laughs> thankfully, Vanessa sat down. That one actually could definitely be argued as being a par four. Bizarre. Just such a demanding shot to make it down that small little fairway. Vanessa going with a turnover backhand. Mm -hmm. mm. She had like two trees. Mm -hmm. Almost took out, but unfortunately she got caught up early. Vanessa with a soft shot, and that is a great shot right there. Vanessa, Vanessa is definitely taking her time on this one. If you get this one in three, uh, the, they're definitely going to be taking a stroke on most of the field, and she does. She did it. That is an absolutely outstanding birdie right there. Uh, Hokum is two down for the round, starting out. On you, that is yeah. a crush. Definitely. Vanessa going with the backhand here. That's going to be your more common play for a right handed player. Turned over a little bit four, and she landed in the fifth. She's going to be looking at it. Uh, definitely going to be putting for a birdie there. Looks like Vanessa's gonna try the big hyzer line. She 
does exactly that and perfectly oh executes a good three to get. Yes. And Vanessa also with that. Now on hole number 10 of this back nine, uh, it's a par four, 600. She hit a little bit of trees there and got put down a little bit early. Next up, we've got Prodigy sponsored Vanessa Van Dyken. Looks like she's going with the backhand. If you haven't seen any of our other videos, uh, we've been talking about how she was a Kona Peach State Open winner this year. That's a good drive. And, uh, fell down a little bit early. And I said, looks like she might be rolling up or lining up a roller as well. Yes, definitely going to be a roller. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Can't see. Vanessa has this. She had a great roller up shot there. This is for a birdie three. Very good. Very good. Very, very good. One down, and the other two ladies are sitting at even. Moving on to hole number one. This is a definite must get with uh, some of these longer holes out here. Uh, this is one that you're going to want to take a two on. It's only 307 feet, and the probably the last 100 feet of the hole play downhill. So, uh, this is one these ladies are definitely going to be wanting to walk away with. Vanessa going to the backhand, probably looking for that to turn over a little bit. It does, but it gets caught up a little bit on the right side. She's going to have a long comebacker for her par. Vanessa with a putt. Looks like she's just laying that one up. Moving on with... Very shocked to see them come away from a 307 foot hole without a single birdie. We're going to be moving on to hole number 12, also a par 4 at 493 feet. It's a straight shot, you want to get over where those trees are. Uh, there's a little valley there and you want to get over that and then it's still about 150 feet to the pin. Vanessa threw hers a little bit low. She landed it down inside that valley. It's uh, very deep. Uh, you cannot see the pin when you're down in there, so you're kind of throwing blind. Definitely don't want to land there. You want to either lay it up short if you don't have the distance to get across it, or make sure you make it across it. And a great turnover backhand shot here from there. Hers actually turned over a little bit and went to the right side. That was a good shot. Very good. With all those trees in the way. Vanessa had two great... She, her drive was a little bit low. She didn't get as much distance she wanted. But uh, two great upshots left her with this. Basically a tap in fours. There's no shame in a four on that one. Especially when you get down into that perfect roller on that. If it had rolled just a little bit more straight before it turned off... She would have been going up the other side of the fairway, which is, <laughs> I mean, to see this on video, it really doesn't do justice how much of a curve that really is. And another great shot from Vanessa, just the grade of the hill, I guess, kept it rolling forward. It's an outstanding drive from Vanessa there. If I was looking at this for an upshot on this hole, <laughs> I just can't explain how happy I would be. <laughs> Very good shot. Starting to get uh, get a little warmed up with the putter. As we mentioned in the front nine, she had a little bit of struggles, but she's made a few real good ones right here on the back. 
Very great green. on that hole. Moving on to hole number 14. It's 385 feet, par three. Uh, very, very downhill for the first, uh, I guess, 150 feet of the hole, maybe 200, and then uh, just kind of flat, and then the basket is back up, perched on another hill. Looks like uh, Vanessa's going to be going with the backhand shot, trying a little bit of a hyzer flip. A little bit low again, but she did get quite a bit of distance out of that into the woods there. Vanessa has a nice little opening there. An inch or two and that one was definitely a birdie too. Vanessa left herself with a little bit longer of a look than she wanted. Some awkward footing, but no problems. She's going to come. <laughs> Moving on to hole number 15. Another long hole, 431 feet downhill for the first little bit uh, over into uh, a little bit of flat area and then uh, very far uphill after that. These ladies are wanting to throw one and get them as far up at that other hill as they can. Vanessa and Vanessa is opting for the backhand. I was filming this shot right here. Notice someone walking up to my right side, filming with a mm -hmm. camera as well, and I didn't know who it was. I was wondering who it was, and I looked over and it was Terry Miller disc golf guy. So <laughs> that was real cool to see. Got to meet him, have a few words with him. Not bad words, that sounded bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not like y'all got to argue. <laughs> no, we didn't get any, any kind of argument. <laughs> got into argument. This is no easy course. This is uh, basically a local legend of the East Tennessee area, this course is. It's, uh, it's been a great course to have in our area. We're going to move on to hole number 16, fairway there. That's not, you, that's not what you want to see on this hole. After all these long holes, you get up to this one and you definitely want to try and get this one. Vanessa looking like she threw a perfect shot there. She get a little bit of skip as you can see and she has a putt. You can see uh, touring professional Silver Lot. I hope I'm saying that right in the <laughs> background there. Great birdie from Vanessa. On that hole definitely expecting to see more twos on that hole than we did but it's a lot of thick stuff uh, now going on to hole number 17 573 feet this is par 4 this is another beast of the course uh, very long and straight and then uphill then back downhill uh, this hole has everything from uphill to great Missed a little bit left, just like she did on the last hole. Looks like maybe she was having a bit of early release issues. Vanessa going with a forehand. Hmm. On this, I know she wanted a little bit more distance, but being out in the fairway on this hole can definitely make up for a lot of the distance that you may not have made. Oh. Oh. Unfortunately, that was a great shot. That absolutely was. Your seppo. Yeah. <laughs> On the way. <laughs> yeah. She's going to have a long putt. Great up for Vanessa. Now before this putt here, Vanessa, well you can see here, there's some movement on a different hole behind the basket that seemed to be getting in her head a little bit, so she stopped. Mm. Oh, 
portion we missed a little bit left. Moving on to hole 18, the final hole of this round. That's a good shot right there. Vanessa going with that turnover backhand as well. And no shame in that. These ladies can get these discs out too. Definitely. You can hear the discs flying like little jet planes. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. It's insane. <laughs> Vanessa turning, now that looks like she's going with a roller, yeah. going up the hill. You can see, and it actually got stuck in the tree. Everybody <laughs> was trying to get in on the action on that. That was one of the wildest things I've seen. It rolled its way up that tree and then underneath a piece of bark and just stayed. Stand still, patent pending. Backhand shot, and she puts it right beside the pin. That's a great shot. Jessica tapped hers in, and Vanessa is tapping hers in now. I'm just so dynamic on another latitude that can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy, I stay blasting off, and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy, yeah, since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies, I'm so astonishing. I say, Innova, yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog, give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some, and I'ma keep on grinding till the millions come.